I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't end up vlogging at all yesterday. I hope you I don't. actually, um, had a really bad start to the day. Like, I really just, I was down and depressed and it's just weird because last year I had a really good Thanksgiving and it was, um, my first Thanksgiving without my dad and usually that's the hardest. But this year it was just, I couldn't see my mom, I couldn't call my dad and it just it was really hard um but i picked myself up and i made a big old dinner and i wish i would have filmed it for you guys um my fiance bought an already cooked full turkey but what we didn't realize because i've never made like a full-on turkey before i've only we've only ever bought in like the turkey breast to cook you're supposed to take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge for three to four days but i i googled it since it was already cooked like it wasn't raw i was like you know can you still cook a fully cooked turkey that's frozen instead of thawed and it said it was fine so i cooked it for it just said to cook it like 50 percent longer so i cooked it for like two hours turkey came out fine i made green bean casserole mashed potatoes and gravy um, I made stuffing for my fiance. I refused. I I just, I can't eat that. I didn't even want to make it, but I did it for him. We had Hawaiian rolls. Um, and I made two different pies. I made cherry pie and my very first homemade peach pie. I used three cans of peaches and I went by a recipe that I found online for using canned peaches. And it says you can use fresh if you want, but of course it's not peach season. And I never have luck with peaches. Sometimes I do, but it's usually that I don't, but anyway, hopefully you guys have a good Black Friday. I don't know if you're doing Black Friday shopping, but luckily I can sit back and relax knowing that all of my shopping is done. So anyway, maybe I'll show you guys clips here and there later of my pies because I still have lots of pie left. My plan for today is my fiance is working. When he gets off, I need to go pick up my medicine from Deerberg's. That's a grocery store here. <laughs> And I'd like to take a plate of food to my mom. Um, now, to I mama. was, that's his mama. And I was going to take her a plate of food last night, but so, okay, the reason I couldn't see my mom, I mean, I could have gone out there, but my grandma didn't really want to do food and stuff and have a bunch of people there, which I understood. So, my aunt that lives really close to her, like, just took them. A little bit of food like Thanksgiving type food like some turkey and sweet mashed potatoes and stuff like that so it was just my mom and grandma and I mean of course my mom wished that I was there but I just didn't want to be a bother because we have been going out there all the time you know what I mean and I know my grandma's kind of used to being alone at this point so my mom said that she was too full last night for me to bring food out last night so I'm hoping I can just take her a plate of food of what I made today and a couple pieces of each pie and yeah I mean I can take enough for my grandma too but neither of them eat a whole lot so I, I don't want to take too much because then my grandma won't be happy with too many leftovers in the fridge which I understand I I try to clean out my fridge every week you know I go through and I'm like okay well this is this needs to go this needs to go I can't stand if your fridge has like a bunch of crap you yeah, know the Especially if it's been in there for a long time. So anyway, he's sitting next to me playing Minecraft. I have a Hallmark movie on. It's The Christmas Detour with Candace Cameron Bure. And I think Paul Green is the guy. He is really cute. So, um, just hanging out right now. Waiting to hear from my fiance. Hiya, 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 hiya. Don't hurt the cows. <laughs> he's mooing. Don't hurt him. They're not mean. Go look for the creepers and hurt the creepers. You killed him! <laughs> I don't understand how this game works. I've never played Minecraft. My older niece and nephew used to play. I'm sure my nephew still does. He needs to really teach Alden how to play because I I don't know anything about it. But oh. I stopped playing Animal Crossing so he could play Minecraft, so he should be happy. I didn't get to... I, I did play a little bit yesterday, and it was like Thanksgiving in the game as well. But like... To have the Thanksgiving dinner in the game, you had to go and search for all of these things, like, for the recipe. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. And me and Alden got in bed at, like, 10? 7 o'clock. 
And we probably didn't fall asleep till closer to nine, but we were in bed really, really early. I was so exhausted. I, I don't even know why. From the time I woke up, I was just exhausted. So anyway, I'll try and vlog a little bit here and there today. I'll try and show you my pies. They're not spectacular. They're not super pretty. I did cut out like a Christmas tree shape and some e extra crust and put that on top of the cherry. And I cut out some stars to put around the peach pie. So I tried to make them look kind of cute, you know? So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you in a little while. Goodbye. He's like, nope. Here is my cherry pie. Doesn't look so pretty. That's half of the Christmas tree, but I just did a lattice top on this one. And on the peach one, I just did like a full, you know, pie crust over the top. And I put a little X in the middle and just put stars around it. But I'm going to eat a piece of cherry pie on my cute little Dollar Tree plate. But I will also show you guys what the peach pie looks like. Here's what the peach looks like. Turned out really, really good. Um, in case anybody is interested, I will definitely post the recipe I used in the description. It was very easy, turned out very good. The only thing I think I would have added a little more of was a little more cinnamon, but otherwise, delicious. Now I'm going to devour this with some whipped cream. Hey guys, so um, I didn't end up vlogging anymore tonight, so I just thought I'd add in here another... Amazon Christmas gift haul that I have. It's not a ton and I think the majority of it Actually, I'm not sure I looked on Amazon to see like what it was that was delivered I'm actually still missing two packages that should have been here by now, but it it says it's running late Hopefully they at least get here before Christmas this thing that's in this little bubble envelope is just something that I, it was really cheap and I just thought it was really cute. So um, I just got it for myself. Oh, it's really cute. So it's just this ring that says mom and the O is like an opal colored heart. It's hard to, it's not gonna focus on it, but that's how it looks. Let me see what finger it fits best on. I think it's really pretty and I just think it's cute and I liked that it said mom. I did get a size 7. I'm pretty sure my ring, my engagement ring is like a 5.5 or a 6 because this ring finger is way smaller than this one. But a 7 fits decently like on my middle finger. Um, I just have like really small hands and fingers. My fiance is always like, your hands are so small. Which, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but I don't know. So that's all that was in here. Um, I was just excited. I think it's pretty. It's simple. Um, I do have a necklace that he and Alden got me for Mother's Day. I think it was like my first official Mother's Day, and it's really pretty. It's like a dainty little heart, and it's silver, and then in gold it says Mom going down inside of the heart but the heart's like it's really little it's really cute I just don't wear necklaces very often I, I love them and I love the way they look I just never think to throw them on especially when I'm just staying at home if I ever actually get like a night out I can try and pair my necklaces up but that never happens so let's see what's in box number one they're both really light so I know it's nothing I don't think anything came for Alden today, actually. Um, the two other boxes that are coming have his stuff in there, which is what I'm most concerned for. Is anything even in here? Oh, okay, a couple things. This, this is for him. Ugh. And my other package of little zinc um, printer sheets for my mini printer came, which I need to finish that project for my sister. 
This is gonna be big on him. Oh, good. The back is Velcro though, but I got Alden this camo hat, which he really wanted one. And I'm glad that it's Velcro because I'm guessing it's like an adult size. So the Velcro will be a lot easier to like try and fit it better on his head. So there's that. What's the tag say? Ultra key. Oh, I think it comes with like a little keychain or something. So there's that. Oh, I forgot this was like a two pack, which is really cool. He'll be so excited. But I'm going to wrap them separately. But he keeps watching videos on YouTube of these kids with these. And he, he wants them too. Why would they package them together like this. So it's two packs of these smashers. So I guess it just comes with those two things and what you do with these eggs is you can like throw them on the ground and smash them and get whatever's inside. So they're basically like dinosaurs um, but they're like all different kinds of weird dinosaurs. So you can get like either dino fossils, um, dino skulls, uh, glowing evil dinosaurs, zombie dinosaurs, toothy dinosaurs, dino eggs, mutant dinos, or robot dinos. Um, so, two... Oh no! I hope this doesn't mean all of them are going to be the same. Why would they do that? So, this package, he got these two guys, and the same with this one. It's the same two guys, so I'm hoping... All of the eggs aren't the exact same. I mean, he'll still have a lot of fun with them, but that kind of sucks, you know? It's like when you buy those Hatchimals, um, they always have one that's not in the egg, so you can try and pick out a different variety and hope that all the eggs are different if you've ever bought Hatchimals for your kids or grandkids or anything. Because um, Alden was into Hatchimals for a long time, and now they don't really make them the same anymore, so we, don't, we haven't bought those in a while. And this is the last box. Okay, so this is something that I got for my mom. They're Dr. Scholl's Women's Size Soothing Spa Low Cut low cut socks um and they have the tread on the bottom which is what she wants so that if she's not wearing her slippers um or anything like that then you know she won't feel like she's gonna like slip in socks i'm not gonna wrap them in this outer packaging though and i kind of want to feel how soft they are they feel really soft through the packaging i didn't tell her i got her these but i showed her i was like oh look what i came across on amazon and I was like, look at these socks. And she goes, oh, I, I could use those. They look ginormous, but I also have tiny feet. It says women sizes 4 to 10. It honestly just looks like they're for size 10. But, I mean, they're like cozy, comfy socks, though. And again, the bottom has that, like, rubbery tread. And this is, I guess, like a green and black pair and, a, like, a pink and maroon color it's kind of hard to tell on camera but you could tell this is more like a green blue and that's more pink so I'm excited to give those to her this is one of my gifts I, I saw it and it's just something I had to have because I do like to be able to actually look at a calendar not just my planner um, and this is perfect it's one of those like you tear the page off for each day but it's a year of true crime if you guys know me, I love true crime, I love forensic files, um, the detective fi no, is that right? The detective files? I don't know, there's so many different, you know, shows like that out there. Um, and I also love Bailey Sarian here on YouTube. She does makeup and she talks about a true crime story at the same time, so it's like the best of both worlds. Um, so it says, December 1st, the resur resurrection of Anne Green, uh, twisted murders, incredible survivors, unexplained mysteries, and it's for 2021, 
and it's just really cool. So it tells you obviously the day and the date and um, you know, it'll show like there's a picture of John Wayne Gacy. He was the, the guy that dressed up like a clown who murdered people and this is just like up my alley all the way. So this is one of my Christmas presents. And so this is like all that came today, but this is for my fiance. He always says he needs a new hat. I got him a hat last year and he never wears it. And he says he doesn't wear it because it's black and black shows dirt. The hat that he's wearing now that's getting dirty from work is gray, but he really likes the gray. Oh no though. Oh, I hope that's okay. Well, okay, so it's just a gray hat, which I think will match his Nikes. Um, and it's a large, extra large, I don't know what size head he has. I mean, he has a quite quite a large head, especially compared to me. Um, but it doesn't have Velcro or even an adjustable thing at all. It's just, it says it's a flex fit. So it just has like this elastic inside. I hope he's okay with that. I don't want him to like not like it. It's the thought that counts though, right? I honestly didn't see that when I was looking. I was just like, ooh, a gray hat, he'll wear that. You know what I mean? So I just like added it to cart and didn't really look at the details, even though I should have looked at the details. I so want to open this <laughs> and read some of these, but I also like, ooh, ooh, it's not tape. I'm going to take a quick little peek. Oh, no, is it in a whole other box as well? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Let's just see. Yeah, Friday, January 1st, Survivor Stories, Mary Vincent. On September 29th, 1978, Mary Vincent, 15, was hitchhiking outside of Berkeley, California, when Lawrence Singleton offered her a ride. It soon turned into a nightmare. Singleton raped Vincent, hacked off both her forearms with a hatchet, then rolled her off a 30-foot cliff in a culvert. But Vincent survived. How do you survive that? I don't think I'd want to survive that. She packed mud on her arms to quell the bleeding, climbed back up to the road, and flagged down a couple who raced her to the hospital. Vincent used her newly fitted prosthetics to point out Singleton in court. He was sentenced to 14 years in prison, but served only eight. Singleton went on to murder Roxanne Hayes, a 31-year-old mother of three, a crime for which he, has, he was sentenced to death in 1997. Ooh, I got goosebumps. See, this is just something that'll be so cool. I, it, oh, it does. Okay, I was gonna say, it doesn't have a stand. So you, like, stand it, kind of, like, lean back like this on your, like, desk, and you just tear off a page for each day. And again, let me just show you. I don't want to ruin, I don't want to see the next one yet. So it says, like, Friday, January 1st. Um, and it tells you the story. Is there anything on the back of it? No, it's just kind of like grid paper on the back. So I guess what's kind of cool about this is like instead of wasting the pages, I could easily reuse this paper because it's like that. You might see through the back a little bit, but I mean, you could totally reuse it for crafting. Um, but I'm real excited about this. I'm glad it wasn't taped so I could take a quick little peek. Okay, so that's the only thing that he can't see is the hat and there's stuff I should probably just wrap tonight for Alden. And again, two things for me. This I needed for my little printer though because I ran out of paper. And this I just thought was pretty and it was just really cute and I love jewelry. I just never wear a whole lot of it. So I thought I'd just get that for myself and it was very, very cheap. Seriously, it was... Um, honestly, I think it was like a dollar ninety nine or something. It was like cheaper for Black Friday or something. I don't even know, but it was like some deal on Amazon and I was like, I'm going to get it for that price. And I know it's not going to be like super well made, but I honestly think it looks good. It doesn't look terrible. The writing doesn't look terrible. I like the like opal colored stone. I like it. I'm happy. Let me see how it... See, I don't know how I feel about wearing another ring on my hand with my engagement ring. So if, if I ever wear other rings, it'll be on this hand. 
but I really, really like it. These I'm so excited to give to my mom. And I'm going to have to give them to her soon, though, because I don't know when she's leaving. I don't know if she's going to get to come back down for Christmas either. So, um, I wanted to... So, Sunday... Today's Friday. I keep feeling like it's Saturday. Uh, I'm going to my mom's. I'm going to my grandma's on Sunday. We will most likely go back to Dollar Tree. I planned to also craft her a present um, to go with this because I almost bought her a necklace and it was like a mother-daughter necklace. It was it was not dainty dainty but it was not big at all. It was just a simple gold chain with a a bigger almost like a, a ring a gold ring and a smaller gold ring attached and it was like mother and daughter um and it said something about a bond that lasts forever and then it had a little initial on it and I would have gotten a K for my mom's name um but I know she doesn't wear necklaces often um she does occasionally so I was just like maybe I won't get that and you know, I'll stick with like the socks that I know she'll use and then maybe I can just craft her something that she can put up at the house or even something she could use. So that's kind of my plan. But I'm wondering if I should wrap these and then take them with me Sunday because I don't know, I mean, if she's going to be here Sunday, she must be leaving maybe early next week. Um, I'm going to have to talk to her about that because I need to find these things out. I have no idea when she's leaving. So, i got a few things to wrap tonight. I'm, I'm kind of glad a lot of stuff isn't showing up at once because then it's a pain to wrap, like, a ton of stuff at once. And my makeup probably looks crazy because it's been on the majority of the day. Um, this is a little odd, but we ran to my fiancé's parents' house um, earlier because Alden wanted to grab something. And uh, this was in a box with a frame I have back there. So I, I made, it's a wooden picture frame. You can probably see it right there, but you can't see it good. And I just put a photo of me and my dad in it. And in puffy paint, I wrote, I love you dad on it. And I gave it to him for Father's Day one year. And so I brought that back with me and I brought my dad back with me. That way he's, he's always with me here. I mean, I know he's always with me, but you know what I mean? This was still packed up from when I was packing boxes and some stuff instead of storing it at the storage locker, we would store it at his parents' house. So got my dad back. This was the little urn that I chose. Um, I think it's pretty. It's like a teal and black and we bought a pack. I think it came with six different ones. So my mom got one, my sister got one, my brother got one, I got one. And then I th I know my one aunt got one and then I don't know if my other aunt got one or my uncle. But my uncle also got some of his ashes because we all also got necklaces to put ashes um, in. Not going to continue to talk about it though because I don't want to get emotional. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I also found this I haven't used in so long. And what sucks is it's all in Korean, um, except for like the very front. So I can read certain things, but like if there were directions, I couldn't read it. But it's called, it's by Etude House. So it's a Korean skin brand. It's called Wonder Pore Freshener. So it says it... It's an ultra pore solution, 10 in 1. It balances skin's ideal pH level, refines skin tones, keeps the elasticity of pores, removes skin surface dead skin cells, cleanses pores inside with cooling effect, deep cleanses pores, minimizes appearance of pores, which I need, control a large amount of sebum, I don't even know what that is. Moisturize inside and outside of skin. Complete, smooth, glass-like texture. And you can tell I've barely used it, but it's been packed up. So I want to start using this again with my cotton swabs if I know where they're at. Otherwise, I'll just use either some tissue or my hand if I have to. But I definitely want to use this and see if it helps my pores. You obviously can't tell right now with makeup on, but I feel like my pores are pretty out of control right now and driving me a little crazy um but it's just now a little after 10 o'clock so um I honestly don't want to be up that much later last night like I said earlier Alden and I got in bed at like 7 and 
I could have passed out right away, but I was trying to wait for Alden to actually fall asleep before falling asleep, so we probably fell asleep around 9. But it felt good to actually, like, go to bed at a decent time, but I was so exhausted. So, um, maybe I'll quickly rack these things. I knew I forgot something at the store. I ran to my grocery store earlier. I got my medication, so I got my anxiety medication finally and some more nausea medication because I like to have it on hand. I was running low of my last script of it. I don't have to get that every month because I don't feel nauseous as often as I was like when we first lost my dad. Um, but it's nice to have on hand because if I know I'm not like actually going to get sick, it's just that feeling like I think it's the worst feeling in the world feeling so sick to your stomach, but you can't you're not actually going to get sick. Um, so you take a nausea pill and it makes that feeling go away and I love it. So I got more of that and... I grabbed a few groceries while I was in there. Um, I grabbed stuff for green bean casserole again just because it's so good and we're already really low on what I made the other day and I want to make sure I can take a plate of food that I made to my mom on Sunday if unless I can tomorrow. Just depends on what time my fiance gets off work. Um, but I wanted to take her some of my turkey, a slice of each of the pies that I made, uh, green bean casserole, but since we're so low, I might just remake the green bean casserole because we'll eat it here, you know what I mean? But at least I'll know I have enough to take to her. Um, some stuffing, if she likes the stuffing. I'm just not a stuffing person. And yeah, um, and then of course we ran to QT and I was so upset because they didn't have my amps at QT. I usually get two at QT because they're two for four there. I drink amps every morning. Now I have one in the fridge. And I was like, well, I'm going to look for them at Deerberg's because sometimes they have them 10 for 10. They had them 10 for 10, but they didn't have any of the amps. And I looked everywhere, up and down the aisle to see if somebody maybe misplaced them or put them behind the other energy drinks. There were none. And I'm like, who else buys amps the way that I do? I don't think anybody does. But with the 10 for 10 sale, people out there are buying my amps. So... I was a little salty about that, so I may just order another pack off Amazon. You get 12 for 20 bucks, or maybe I can go back to Deerberg's this weekend, and maybe the sale will still be going on, and maybe they'll restock the amps, because 10 for 10 is awesome. I could get 10 of them for 10 bucks, you know, and I'd be very, very happy. I like to have them in my fridge, even if, I don't know, like there's very rarely... There's a very rare occasion where I wake up and don't want an amp because I don't feel good enough to drink one. Like, if I don't feel good in the morning, I won't drink an energy drink. Uh, I might actually sip on water or orange juice or just a soda. Um, but typically, like, my amp is like my coffee. I, I don't drink coffee. I drink an amp. Um, so I like to have it on hand, okay? And I'm down to one, so I know I have one for tomorrow. And if I can't find any tomorrow at QT or something, I'm not going to have one for Sunday. But I can always get one on the way out to my mom. So either way, I'll be okay, guys. I will. But anyway, I'm going to get wrapping paper out, tape, and labels. And wrap these few gifts that I have. And I will be back to finish the vlog, vlog style, because this was supposed to be a vlog. So, give me just a little bit. <sighs> okay guys, so I just finished wrapping those few presents that I had. Um, I hid them, I put all the wrapping paper away. I'm keeping my mom's present out, um, because I don't know if I should just give it to her on Sunday. Um, again, I don't know when she's leaving. I tried to message her and see what her response would be, but I haven't heard back yet, so. Ooh, getting tired, though. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of snuggle up in bed and play Animal Crossing and watch Pretty Little Liars until I go to sleep, because it'll probably be soon. Um, it was really nice getting in bed as early as I did last night. I wish I could have done that again today, but... It didn't happen. Um, excuse me. They're like kind of hiccups, but not really. But sorry I didn't vlog a whole lot today. 
we honestly didn't do too much. Um, but yeah, tomorrow my fiance is probably going to be working all day. I'll try and do a full vlog tomorrow and maybe show you guys what me and Alden do or um, maybe I can start working on a craft. I actually want to really redo this reindeer I have over by the fireplace. I doubt you can see him. He's right there. It was my grandma's and I kind of want to repaint him. I almost want to repaint him white but distress him with brown even though I know reindeer aren't white. I don't know. I have a brown though. I don't think it's a deep enough brown, but I have, I don't know. I just, I just want to spruce him up and I just feel like white would look so cute. And then I want to put a new little red nose on him. Oh my goodness. But my grandma has had that thing since as long as I can remember. So I know it's pretty old, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just watch some more Pretty Little Liars. I'm at the end of season five, so I'll be starting season six soon. I'm getting really excited because I'm finally getting towards the very end of the show. Uh, season seven is what I haven't seen all of the episodes of, so I'm excited because I don't know exactly how it ends. And I'm sorry. <sighs> And I'm excited to get to that. I do actually, I want to craft a little bit tonight, but being as tired as I already am and it only being a little after 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30 by now, um, I think it's just a good time to like snuggle up in bed and, um, you know, watch more of my show and just play Animal Crossing for tonight. Um... I'm trying to think of something to craft for my mom. Um, okay. Question. For all of you moms out there. What is something that you would love to have gifted to you that's handmade that you could use or hang somewhere like... I made her something before. I don't I don't have it to show you guys, but it was um like this palette kind of sign. It had two wooden palettes and it had a string, you know, to hang on the wall. Um it was like a twine rope. That was the string. I got it from Target. Um I painted it and then I had a stencil that said blessed and I put that on there. It said blessed and I hung small twine off the bottom of it with little, um, like miniature, um, laundry clips. I don't know what you actually call them. And I hung pictures of her grandkids on there, like Alden, my nephew Jordan, um, I think Riley. I don't, I don't know. It's been a few years since I did that. And I was actually in the middle of making the same exact thing for my mother-in-law and then everything happened with my grandpa when he went to the hospital and passed away. So I never got to finish my mother-in-law's and I feel terrible. I don't even know where that is. But if I can find it, I'd love to finish that for her because she's such an amazing person. She really does treat me like I am her daughter. And we have such a good relationship. Like before I ever had Alden, like when me and my fiance were just dating and even engaged. Like when my fiance was off at work, like out of town... Me and her would go on shopping dates, we'd go to movies and lunch dates, and we were like best friends, honestly. We did all kinds of stuff together, and it was so fun. And I feel bad we never get to do that anymore, but you know, especially with COVID, I don't like taking Alden places. The only place I've ever taken him has been Dollar Tree, um, because when I have him and my mom wants to get out of the house, like I have no choice but to take him. But I, I haven't taken him in Target or any major stores whatsoever since COVID. Um, so, but say COVID has never happened. Like, I'm just that person that like, as much as I, I like having a break from my kid, I feel so bad for wanting a break from my kid. Like, I'm getting emotional about that because like, I shouldn't feel bad because all moms need a break. But, like, I get such 
separation anxiety when I'm away from him because my fear is that even if he's with his dad and I fully trust my fiance, like, seriously, I, I trust him with my life. I trust him with Alden's life, but I'm always like, something bad's going to happen when I'm not around. You know what I mean? And, but at the same time, I don't want to take Alden to the movies unless, I mean, even for kids movies, I just think he's still too young. He's not going to sit through a whole movie. I know people take their kids to the movies all the time and that's great. I'd rather just do that at home with my kid. I don't like taking him to the store if I don't have to, because that's kind of like me time. And especially if my mother-in-law and me want to go and like look at clothes and fun girly stuff. Like Alden's not going to, he's going to want to look at toys and it's just not the same. You know what I mean? It's like after you have a kid, things change. But I'd love for me and her to actually get to have like a day together not a full day, because she still has to be able to get back and take care of um, my father-in-law. But, like, if we could, like, go grab brunch one day and just, like, well, we can't really eat it inside of there. But we can go and go back to her house and um, Alden can run around and play and me and her can ch But it's hard to do that still because Alden's always telling her, let's go play. So me and her just never really have me and her time anymore. And... I feel bad, but it's just hard after you have a kid. But before I had a kid, me and her, we had such a great relationship. And, you know, we would go to Ross and go shopping all the time. And it was fun because, you know, she'd be like, oh, go try that stuff on. And, like, she would, like, want to see how it looked on me. Like, some people, like, don't care to do that. And she was like, oh, let me see. And it was just, it was, it was so cool. We had such a cool relationship. I never thought... I never thought I'd get so lucky to, like, come into a family that's so accepting of me and loves me like I'm their own. And even my fiancé's aunt, um, like, she's so wonderful. I love his aunt and his cousins. Um, I don't know the two boy cousins as well as I know his cousin Anna, who she just had a baby. And she is the sweetest little thing. And I can't wait to see Anna and see the baby. Um... She was living in Colorado for a while with her boyfriend, and they're moving back home, which is so good, because then, like, their families, her boyfriend and and my, co my fiancé's cousin, like, their families are here, so we'll all get to, like, meet the baby, and I know with COVID, things are different, and they're harder to, to get to do this kind of stuff, but at some point, we're hoping maybe around Christmas we can make something work, but I don't think... They watch my videos, but if they do, hi Judy, hi Anna, I love you guys. You guys are such an amazing extended family for me to have, and I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys. But again, I don't think they watch my videos. Ugh, anyway, I'm just like blabbering because I feel bad I didn't vlog that much today. Um, like I said, I have two packages that are running late, but then I have something arriving... Sunday and Monday, and then I did send my best friend and her boyfriend a gift because they're very into board games, and I'm so jealous because I love board games, and my fiancé does not, so even if I bought board games, I have nobody to play them with, um, but I sent her one I had never heard of, but I saw it on Amazon. It really intrigued me, so I really hope they don't have it, but I really, really hope they enjoy it. Um, I mean, it's the thought that counts, but I really did try to get something, like, the both of them could get use out of, you know? Um, so I really hope they get that. That should get to them December 15th. I don't know if it's because it's being shipped to Guam it'll take that long or that has to be it because I'm just having it shipped directly to her because I suck at like if I bought presents at the store for my best friend I'm so horrible about mailing stuff out last year I actually got it done but I'm so bad about actually getting to the post office like you guys I still have an open PO box that I've been meaning to do for months it's just like it's hard when my fiance works every single day I want him to go with me because he knows more about that stuff than I do, and he knows, like, what questions to ask. I don't, I get nervous talking to people, so it's just been hard. I still really want a P.O. box because I would love for you guys to send me letters and postcards. Like, I would love to have more of a connection with you guys, and if I have time, 
I would absolutely love to actually write you letters back or send you a postcard back from my hometown. And um, I just feel like we would have such a better connection. Like, I do feel like we have a strong connection. I love every single one of my subscribers. You guys are seriously the best and seriously amazing and the sweetest. And I love you guys. And once I do get a P.O. box, I promise I will let you guys know. Do not ever feel obligated to send me anything at all, especially gifts. Like, don't buy me things, but I will encourage you over and over to send postcards and letters. And, you know, if you guys just need someone to talk to, write me a letter and I promise I will read it. And I will keep them. I, I I cherish those kinds of things. Or if you just want to send me like a greeting card, like it doesn't have to be happy birthday, but you know, just a, a funny card or something that you could write in. I love cards. Like I, anytime some, somebody gives me a birthday card, anniversary card, you know, any kind of card, I save them. I keep them. I have a whole envelope full of cards from like my childhood because I don't throw those away. I just think they're so special and I love looking back on them because there's some that I have from my dad. <sighs> that I, I'm just glad that I keep those things because I can go back and read them and just see seeing his signature like love dad, you know, it makes me happy and it takes me back to that birthday or that time in my life. And um, so, yeah, you guys can send me any type of greeting card, postcard or letters. That is what I want. And I promise you to make as much time as possible to write everybody back and send you guys postcards because I think being pen pals in a way like, will just help us have a deeper connection. Not, like, in a weird way. <laughs> like, in a friendship way. I don't have many friends. And I feel like I do because of you guys. You guys are so supportive and kind to me. And I thank you for that. I've never felt so much, like, love and support from so many people that I've never met in my life. And I'm so proud of myself for starting my channel as scared as I was. But I love it, and I will continue to do it. I can lose a ton of subscribers, and I won't care, because I know the ones that truly care about me and my videos and love watching me, like, you guys will be here. And that's what I'm doing this for. I'm doing this for you guys that truly care and want to know about my life and want to see what's in my purses and see me switch purses all the time, which, um, by the way, guys, I'm not going to lie. I know I just switched back to that purse that I love so very much and every one of you love as well, that little purse, but I realized going back and forth to my mom's and coming home, it's a lot easier for me to carry a bigger bag at the moment, um, just because, you know, when Alden's with me, I can throw his Kindle in my purse, a snack in my purse, you know, instead of carrying a backpack in my purse and you know what I mean so I had to switch to I am using my bigger pink hobo style purse you could wear it like a taupe or a crossbody it's that big pink purse you guys have seen it it's from Amazon um I think with that since I just did a what's in my purse video switching from that smaller purse uh, maybe I'll try and do a purse dump because after going back and forth to my mom's, like, it gets filled with receipts, mostly from Dollar Tree, or wherever we ate that day, like White Castle or McDonald's or whatever. Um, so I will try and do a purse dump soon because, and once I'm, like, done, like, once my mom goes back to Michigan and I'm done going back and forth, I will switch back to that smaller purse again because I love it so dearly. It's just when I'm constantly going there with Alden, like I said, it's so much easier to throw his few things in my purse instead of hauling a big old backpack every single time. So anyway, I am going to end this vlog. Um, I am sorry my Amazon haul wasn't like super huge or anything. Like I said, I have two more packages that should have been here by now, but they're running late. Um, and what else? Oh, a few more that are coming, like, Monday or something. So, more things are coming, but, again, I'm glad they're coming, like, 
in little increments because then I can wrap what little I have at a time instead of wrapping 20 things at once because that just gets stressful. So I'm going to go hop in bed, play some Animal Crossing, and go to sleep soon and maybe get some crafting done tomorrow. Maybe browse Pinterest and get ideas for something to hand make my mom, which I can pick up the supplies when I go to Dollar Tree on Sunday. So expect another Dollar Tree haul. I know if, if you're sick of it, I'm sorry, but there are people out there that do strictly Dollar Tree hauls on their channel all the time. Like almost every day. I'm not that bad. I'm not going every single day, okay? But... I do go a lot, and I like to share hauls with you guys. No matter where I go, I like to do hauls, so expect one. Um, I want to pick up a few more craft supplies. Um, I do need to get some dish, dish soap from there and a Sharpie. I'm going to make a list in my phone so I don't forget, and... Yeah, I was originally not supposed to have Alden with me on Sunday, so it was going to be so much easier, but now I will because my fiancé has to work now, so of course I'm going to have to buy him a couple of things to keep him happy at my grandma's house, um, but either way, I will have a haul for you guys on Sunday, I'll do a purse stump for you guys really soon, and uh, yeah. I will try and do a better vlog for you guys tomorrow as well. I did shower today. I just didn't feel like washing my hair. I, pr I probably need to wash my hair. But um, it's not that I didn't want to, like, do my hair to wear it down because I do prefer wearing my hair down, believe it or not. It's just easier to have a mom bun. I just didn't feel like it today. <laughs> like, when I threw my hair up, I was like, well, the bun looks decent. I'd hate to take it down to wash my hair. So I just... Got in, washed off, got out, and called it a day. So, I should see you guys again in the morning, probably as I'm starting breakfast. So, stay tuned for that, and thank you all for the love and support. I appreciate all of you so much. To any of my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I hope you like my channel. I do a lot of purse videos. I do a lot of hauls. And... Apparently, I do a lot of vlogs now, but I will try and do more content as well. Um, I have a ton of ideas. I just need to sit down and do them. Um, so, yeah. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Good night, guys. All right, you guys. I just wanted to show you really quickly. I just finished the collage for my sister. Since I just got the rest of that paper... So, it was a little hard. I still need to use my X-Acto knife and kind of go over, like, this little spot here and around here because it's a little rough looking. But, I'm sure she'll love it. You know, it's, it's, this dog was her entire life. But, you know, it can, she can set it up wherever she wants. I'm thinking about mod, mod podging over it just to like really seal it to the plastic thing that it's on and letting it dry overnight and give it to her with her little basket. But now I'm really going to bed, so <laughs> good night, guys. I just wanted to show you that I finished this one craft.